I don't know really, it's a sort of a strange opportunity that had come to me. I've always dreamt of it. Me, Connor, a few of us have always thought, oh, I would love to one day be there. And out of nowhere, one of the van's manager just messaged me on Instagram and it just came out of nowhere. I just, I don't know, it is it is very exciting for me because it's good for like Welsh shift as well because I think I'm the first person in Wales to get invited. Um, I'm glad Izzy as well got invited as well. It's just good for UK surfing, I think, because no one from UK has been invited for quite a few years now. Um, and ever since this like login boom that's come around recently, it's just sort of good for everything really. I always watch all um, like all the guys in it, like from like Tyler Warren, Alex Nost, uh, Harrison Roach, one of my favourite surfer, Justin Quintal. Like I've always watched them surfing since I first started logging, and to get invited to even see them surf and compete against them is mental. Especially in such a relaxed format like that, you know, in a duct tape, it's not so pressurised like the British comps are, and it's good to just like relax and just and take it for what it is, you know, a good experience. I think there's a bit of a logging scene closer to J Bay, like Capes and Francis and stuff, and there's quite a lot of point bricks around there. I've heard of quite a few good loggers around that coast. I'm not sure if any of them got invited to the events, but I think that's probably one of the hot spots on that coast is around there. I'm not sure about Cape Town, because I think it's known for being quite a heavy area for waves, like mainly like quite a hollow beach breaks and stuff like that and good for short water, but not too sure about logging. Maybe that's their intent, just try and boost logging in the area. I've got a 9.6 and a 9.5. I've kind of scaled down these logs just because I know the waves are a bit punchier over there. So probably a bit thinner like than I'm used to, but I think they'll go well to be fair. It's not drastically different. So I've got the stage two Cali, which is pretty much what I ride, but a few inches shorter. A little bit more pulled in a bit more fold out rails, adjusted the rockers and stuff like that, just a few adjustments. Would like to have had a go with them before, but it's pretty much flat now, isn't it? So <laughs> gonna have to just bluff it on the first few days when I get there, I think. See how it goes, Got like two days pretty much, and then straight into the competition. So yeah, hopefully the waves are on. They do look like on the long range forecast, it's gonna be fun, so see what it delivers out like. I actually looked at the criteria earlier today. Obviously leashless which is pretty much what I do anyway. They say it, your board has to be a minimum of a metre taller than you. So I'm 6'1", so like 9'2", 9'3". The minimum was what you want really. And it's pretty much anything goes and after that. There's no interference calls or anything like that. The actual re rewards are $1,000 for the best shed wave. Um, so it's pretty relaxed really. I think as long as you're riding a log, a proper non-hard edge log, no leash, then you can do what you want really. It's pretty relaxed and it seems like my sort of competition really. riding you generally want it to be more weighty so like all my logs are traditionally glassed with Boland so they got a bit more weight than most people's which I've always favoured because I think it has a lot more forward momentum and it glides nicer through fat sections and just generally feels nicer than the pocket. I suppose most people in the event will have heavier logs. It's a single fin event so they should be ridden like that you know definitely. Traditionally I don't particularly like the way longboard contests are formatted in this country I think because there's not much funding in it, it's kind of anything goes really. I do like the BLUs and stuff like that when they get the waves, but they're probably the only sort of event I do. There's a competition called Smooth Movers in Cornwall, which is, has been running for a couple of years now because of COVID. But I think they're gonna run it in September. That's probably my favorite sort of competition. Same as the duct tape, it's a bit more like relaxed vibes and no drop-in rules. And it, they usually try to run it when the conditions are favoring logging, which is what I would rather, as opposed to like trying to run a longboard event when it's six foot onshore, you know? That's kind of what the duct tape does as well. They like, like always try to run in good conditions, but yeah, my usual headspace is I just try to be relaxed as possible, really. Especially in like logging, you want to be trying, trying to be stylish and stuff like that. If you're stressing out, you're not really going to show that. So I try to be as relaxed as possible, basically. 
just really stoked for the opportunity, really. I wasn't expecting it at all, but when it did come, I've been stoked out of my mind, basically. But yeah, Vans, just want to thank them for this, making this happen, really. Um, showcasing UK surfing, which is epic. Um, and just giving the opportunity to meet all these amazing people from around the world. Just looking forward to it, stoked.